I came to baking relatively late in life, but my mid-30s, but once I started, it became a compulsion. Of course, I am quite an obsessive person. I collect all sorts of things, but preeminently cookie cutters. I have now got in the hundreds, because when my children were little, I used to do biscuits every year and on their birthdays with the number of their age every year. But of course, once you start collecting things, there's no reason to stop, so you get sort of madder and madder. This, relatively okay, a shoe. But this is a more recent acquisition. A poodle, I have yet to cook with that. But what I did learn quite early on, in terms of what I really will use a lot, is that if you get a funny cake tin, a fancy one, <laughs> like this, it's a bunt tin, uh, very much mother-in-law's wedding hat, it does all the work for you. What I need now, though, is very straightforward, polar opposite, really, two very basic 20 centimetre layer cake tins. They're lined with reusable baking parchment, and it's a cardinal rule with me that whenever the tins are washed up, the baking parchment is too, and popped right back in. That way, I'm always ready to bake. They say the devil has all the best tunes. I think he's got the edge on recipes too. Certainly if this devil's food cake is anything to go by. Devil's food cake really means like deep, dark chocolate cake. So I'm starting off with quite a lot of cocoa. It's 50 grams in there. After the cocoa, just to enhance the treacly darkness, I want 100 grams of dark muscovado sugar. And I'm making this into a sort of dark, malevolently dark syrup just by pouring 250 mils of recently boiled water over it. And I know it looks like an awful lot of water to put in a cake, but that's what really counteracts the drying quality of the cocoa and makes every mouthful just melt. Anyway, now, the dry ingredients. I need 225 grams of plain flour. And it's so simple, this cake. Not very hard to weigh out flour and measure it out. Teeny bit more. And into this, half a teaspoon of baking powder and half of bicarb. Most cakes start with creaming butter and sugar. This one is no exception. That's 125 grams of soft, unsalted butter there. And on top of that, sprinkle in, pour in, 150 grams of caster sugar. So we've got everything for the cake batter there, bar the vanilla and eggs, and they're coming. Once the cake is done, there is the lush frosting, but I'll come to that. It's pale and fluffy. I'm going to add some vanilla, lots of vanilla, two teaspoons, but then the cocoa is bitter and the dark muscovado sugar treacly can take this. And now it's just a question of alternating dry ingredients and eggs, so... Dried ingredients. one egg, the rest of the dried ingredients, and my second and final egg. Such a fantastic manila-toned mixture, but I am going to do violence to that by pouring in this chocolate liquor. Mm. Beautiful, isn't it? As you might imagine, this is a very wet batter, so do not be alarmed. That's what it should be. If it were drier, you wouldn't get such a luscious, tender crumb later. Ah, peace. Peace, but a bit of mess. I don't mind that, because it is a bit liquid. But you want that liquidness. Mmm, that is glorious. Right, to business. A bit of buttering of the pans. It's just the sides, of course. Likely. 
and then they are ready to be filled with this glossy chocolatey cake batter. You know, the first time I made this cake, I thought my children would hate it and they'd complain that it was too dark, too rich, not sugary enough. But I left it out on a Friday night only to get up the next morning and see a kind of teenager trail of chocolatey crumbs. It's a mistake I don't want to make again. These two gleaming pools need 30 minutes in a 180 degree oven and then they will be ready to be cooled and anointed with their chocolate glazed frosting. When the cakes are ready, they'll have started coming away from the sides of the tins. Put both tins on a wire cooling rack and leave there for five to ten minutes before turning both cakes out to cool completely. The allure of a devil's food cake lies partly, well, in great part, with the frosting. It's very, very simple to make, but it takes a while just to cool and become spreadable, which is why I make it ahead. I mean, it's so easy, I just did this. I put 125 millilitres of water in a pan and then add 30 grams of dark muscovado sugar and 175 grams of soft, unsalted butter. Put it on the heat, but make sure it's low and let everything melt and dissolve together. Though you should whisk every now and then just to make sure all the sugar is dispersed. When the mixture comes to a boil, turn off the heat and add 300 grams of best quality dark chocolate. Either chop it finely yourself or use little buttons that will melt easily. Swell the pan so that the chocolate begins to melt in the liquid and then leave for a minute before whisking together until gleaming and smooth. Cakes that are filled and frosted need layers that aren't too deep. So that's why these are shallow. It's meant to be like that. I put the first layer topside down, if you see what I mean, and then time to start with a filling. So about a third of the mm, lovely chocolate mixture gets dolloped on top and spread it around. Beautiful. top part goes on regular way up. I'm going to put most of the frosting on the top and then try and coax it down the sides. You probably could make this look, you know, fantastically smooth. I couldn't. And anyway, I love the way the chocolate seems to gleam more in these little swirls and spirals. This frosting never quite sets hard but the stickiness is part of what makes it taste so delicious. And I'm done. You know what? Just to be on the safe side, safe. Some. Cake. For me. Put next there to make up for that that I didn't say please. This may be called devil's food cake, but it tastes heavenly. So that's yours. Yes, it's so good. It's really good. Yes, yeah. Yeah. You've got chocolate on your neck. <laughs> OK, clear a path to the cake. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Will you cut me a slice? It's really delicious. Mm. Thank you, Jamie. <laughs> Not <the same. laughs> Thank you. Nicely done. Devil's food cake for my angels. Oh, <laughs>